stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. The United States is the number one greatest economy in the world and black folks living in the United States make up the 15th greatest economy in the world. You can't do nothing but rise up in category here in this great country of America. Those who um, you know, don't want to live here, um, nobody's holding here, you can leave any time you want to. My thing is to inspire black Americans, uh, descendants of slavery, descendants of reconstruction, descendants of discrimination, uh, redlining, racism, prejudice, all the kind of things you want to think about. Still be rising cheap. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all the civil rights leaders knocking all those doors for us. You got the voting rights, you got the civil rights, you can become anything you want to become in the United States. That's why the United States leads the world in immigrants. We have over 50 million immigrants that have uh, re, uh, uh, relocated to the United States of America more than 50 times more than any other nation in the world. So everybody telling you to leave America or go back to Africa or go back to someplace else, their minds are kind of like uh, small. So today we're going to talk about inspire definition for inspired. Someone with the urge or ability to, to do or feel something creative. Or his passion for romantic literature inspired him to begin writing. So inspired. Eliminate anything that diminishes your inspiration from your presence, from your life, from your mind. Eliminate it. Find a stream of inspiration and live there. I am not responsible for inspiring myself. I am responsible for finding who does inspire me. If you can keep yourself inspired, there's absolutely nothing you cannot do. Repeat that. If you can keep yourself inspired, there is absolutely nothing that you can't do. Inspiring yourself is not a sin. It is the ability to fail if you master the secret of keeping yourself inspired. Keep yourself inspired, so important, man, so important, okay? Remove from your daily view anything that has, that has ceased to inspire you. Remove every picture, photograph, glass book that no longer inspires you. Focus on what inspires you now. Focus on what inspires you now. It's very, so important to be inspired in this world, man. You're not inspired, you tend not to do nothing, man. You tend to just be uh, walked over. You tend just to live a boring and, and suffering life. Identify what inspires you. Identify what inspires you. Identify what inspires you. So important. You know, so important. You gotta be, uh, you gotta find what inspires you in this world. Again, we live in the greatest country in the world, America. You can aspire and dream to become anything you want to come in here, black America. Don't uh, be satisfied with uh, the mediocre, man, uh, living in a ghetto, welfare, uh, uh, not, not achieving or reaching for, for bigger goals, man. Some countries people think, oh, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be something, an engineer, I want to be something practical, something the world needs, something that, that people look at as being success. Dream the same kind of dreams. Some some people will come and say, well, let me learn to speak that English language good because I'm from the Caribbean, I'm from Africa, I'm from Europe. Let me speak that language good. Maybe I can get something in radio, something on TV where they show my face where, where I might appear to be like a black American, but I'm really from some other place. My last name might be a French name. I could be somewhere from Africa. My name could be something else. I could be somewhere from the Caribbean. I could be a bunch of other things. But in this ethnic group that's living in America, Black people who were the six percent that came here through the Western slave trade back in, you know, sixteen hundreds or you know, to the the eighteen hundreds. You the group that I'm looking, man, to inspire. Be inspired, man. Find something that you want to do. You successful. Find three streams of income to be to 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 to, to, to grasp the money, so that you're not got your hand over. You're not begging. You're not you're not searching something. Else. You're doing the thing, man. Remember, 75% of everybody that came rich in America became rich because of real estate. That means you gotta hold some real estate of your own. You can't live in somebody else's uh, apartment complex or somebody else's uh, place and never expect to have any, 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 any equity bill up. You have to buy something yourself, man. You buy something for $100,000 a day, $200,000 a day, $300,000 a day, and 10 years from now, five years from now, it's gonna be worth a lot more than what you paid for it then. Opposed to going out and buying a vehicle that depreciates and you know, you buy, as soon you drive off the lot with a, a $20,000 or $30,000 car, it's only $23,000. You know, you can't trade it for anything higher than that. Then it constantly 
decreases in value. But real estate constantly increases in value. So you want to get the real estate thing, man. So uh, inspire it, man. Find something to inspire you, right? Okay. Seize the tiniest drop of inspiration and hold it until it becomes an ocean with inside of you, man. Think about that. Seize the tiniest drop of, of inspiration and hold it until it becomes an ocean inside of you. What can stop the ocean, man? If some, some of your dreams or your urges or your things you want to do became that powerful, what can stop you? I mean, you almost, you, almost, you almost see it in your own community. If you're in a predominantly black community, you see people on drugs. They're going to do everything they got to do in the course of that day to get that high, to get that drug on, man. They're inspired to get high. They're inspired to get drugs. But they're not, they might not be inspired to raise their family, to sit home and help their kids read and write in the books, to be there to make sure they have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But they're inspired to smoke that weed, inspired to get high and get drunk. They're inspired for that. Find something that inspires you, man, that you can excel and lift up your family. They live the, they live the true American dream, not that ho-hum, you know, drug every day, you know, gotta smoke a cigarette, gotta smoke a weed, gotta drink, gotta get high, gotta carouse, gotta... You don't wanna live that kind of lifestyle. What does that lead you? You know what that leads you? Jealous, envious, everybody else who succeeding. Got the nice car, got the nice home, got the nice clothes. Now you're jealous of them. You wanna, you wanna uh, rob them or take something from them. You wanna lay in a cut, rob somebody. Instead of get a job and go out there and bust, bust yourself, you know, bust your behind on a job working hard, right? Getting your job, working your nine to five, working your your whatever to get out there and work. Now I always say get one, two, three streams of income. Don't be satisfied with just one. Get three of them, man. So one dries up, you still got two, and you're looking for that third one. Always looking for that third one. Okay. What three sounds inspire you? Saturate your environment with those sounds. Saturate your environment. I like ninety-five point one FM, man. A spiritual radio station is that that plays the up to beat. Modern spiritual songs which inspire me, make me feel wonderful as I'm driving in my car to and fro where I have to go. What inspires you? I never linger in the presence of someone who cannot improve me. You don't want to be around people that, that, that can't improve you, somebody who just want to leech off you, take what you have, you know, uh, uh, don't want to improve you. Some people believe it can improve you in all kinds of ways, so it does not have to be monetary, it can be giving you words of wisdom. Give you a dire the right direction to go. Some people inspire in many ways, but don't be around the people, man, who just uh, can't improve can't improve you at all. You, you don't want to do that. It's not it's not going to be a not going to be fruitful for you, right? Stay inspired is is, is the number one success story. You stay inspired makes everything makes every other success possible. Stay inspired. That's what it does, man. So you know you got to stay inspired. You got to you got to stay on your when you used to call it on your P's and Q's, that means you gotta stay alert, you gotta stay ready, you gotta stay focused, because you're always looking for success, you're always striving for success. Okay, let's go with this. You do not decide who inspires you, you discover who inspires you. So have you, have you, have you found something to inspire you? Have you found somebody who inspires you? Something inspires you. What inspires you? I never linger long in the presence of someone who wastes my time. So look, that's inspired, man. We gotta be as black Americans in this country. You gotta aspire to be everything. You gotta open your mind to all the opportunities. You know, you can get, you can go to, you know, you can go to college and become anything you want to become. Major any subject you want to become in. If you major that subject, you can't so much be thinking about. Okay, when I get out of this subject, let me just get a, let somebody hire me to work somewhere. You gotta do this subject. Think about how can I use these subjects to become self-employed. How do I use these? Uh, services or, 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 or intelligence or, or education to employ myself because maybe I can employ myself and be self-employed self-employed and work for somebody else then I got two streams of income I'm not solely dependent on please give me a job I finish college like you know millions of people finish college every year I'm, I'm saying it's a great thing to do so but many people finish college every year and by the time people hire their friends or they hire their family so if somebody don't hire you and you find a way how to make money yourself. The whole time you're going to school and, and, and you're studying these courses, how am I going, how can I use this to be self-employed and make money as well as looking to see somebody can hire me, somebody that I'm going to bring benefit to the company because someone's going to hire you because they want you to make money for them. So you got to realize that any place you go, they're looking for you. Is this person going to make money for my company or my corporation or this person is going to be somebody just on just on the payroll, just, you know, collecting money that I could be using for something else. So look, inspire it. Stay inspired, Black America. Take public speaking so that you speak well out in out in out in the public. So so 
so Caucasians or people who know the English language will be able to understand exactly what you're saying. It's, it's edifying to them. It's, it's very understandable, very clear, very comfortable. You know, you can use your slang, your other language when you're around, your friends and your family, and wherever you want to, you know, where you want to let your hair down there. Because I'm sure that people who are from, from the West Indies or people from the Caribbean or people from Africa or people from Europe, when they get if they got a job working on the news, on the news they're, they're speaking good English. They're pronouncing things clearly because they want that job. They know what that job entails. But I'm sure if they're not doing it on the phone, they're talking about, hey, God, how you doing? What's happening? And they're talking the other kind of talk. You know what I'm saying? So remember, stay inspired in America. And remember that everybody around you just having to be your cover is not, it's not a part of you. You know, they're not a part of this American dream. They're coming here to get the American dream where you've been sitting here for over 400 years. So remember, you can become anything you want to become. Let's not hope that all you want to become is someone smoking weed, someone smoking cigarettes, someone drinking strong liquor, someone getting uh, drunk every day, somebody who's not taking care of their kids, somebody who's not inspiring to do anything great, just live and, and, and enjoy the little meager things of life. I hope you're not a carouser, running around making babies but people are not taking care of them. Want Uncle Sam, strong Uncle Sam America to take care of them, talk about America and blah, blah, blah. But Uncle Sam feeds you from, from your born and to the bury you in the grave if you're, if you're in the welfare system. So you should have the last thing to talk about on the sandbox. So anyway, stay black in America. Aspire to be great. And God bless you. And as I always say, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins. You know you're going to heaven. It's not by your works. It's by grace. It's by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. And you can live the American dream as well. So I'm not saying sit on your hands and expect God to do everything for you. Because work without faith is dead. So... Stay inspired until next time. Subscribe to this channel because I'm giving you the truth, baby. Till next time. Bye.